Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some very important news to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. Hacker I Hate Snow stated that he could successfully jailbreak iOS 9 untethered, and he backed it up with video proof. <laughs> All right, so getting started here, if you guys happen to miss my two most recent jailbreak update videos, I will have a link in the cards and down below to my latest update playlist for you guys. Now, getting straight into this, I'm bringing over a video here that I hate snow publicized. This is just video paint on a jailbroken iPhone 6 Plus here, but essentially, I hate snow achieved a jailbreak via a low-level exploit, which is similar to an iBoot or a boot ROM exploit, in that it has limited device functionality and also its ability to persist through firmware updates. So essentially a device that's jailbroken via a boot ROM jailbreak will be jailbreakable essentially for life so long as the hacker is able to successfully update the utility which actually shouldn't be too hard at all. However, it simply won't work on 64-bit devices so everything from the iPhone 5s and up, for example this is an iPhone 6 plus, and he has no intention of releasing it. In fact last year I Hate Snow also released a similar proof of concept video on iOS 8.1. 1.1 stating that he could successfully jailbreak the firmware. That's actually the exact same exploit we see here adapted for and working with iOS 9. Now let's go ahead and play this really quick while discussing it. So essentially we know it's a low level boot ROM or iBoot exploit because of its custom boot logo as you can see there and also the fact that it has verbose boot. So we have the verbose boot which is just the scrolling text screen. Anyone who's been around since the days of red snow or earlier will definitely be familiar with verbose boot. Now the most recent exploit that was a boot ROM based exploit is the Lime Rain one. It was discovered by GeoHot way back when and the last device that it was actually functional on was the iPhone 4 which of course was outdated when Apple released iOS 8 so we haven't had a boot ROM exploit in ages. However, even Lime Rain isn't powerful enough to show a custom boot logo from the very beginning of a device's boot up. So as you saw there at the beginning, we had that custom I Hate Snow boot logo there. Now there's one major problem with this. Again, it will not work on 64-bit devices, even if the vulnerabilities were to persist in something like the iPhone 6 Plus's boot ROM, it just simply wouldn't be exploitable. So why can we jailbreak now? Well, groups like Taiji, Pangu, and the Evaders with their evasion tool and so on, employ the use of user land execution methods. So for example, they gain full root access and unsigned code execution privileges from the living protected system, which means that they'll find security flaws and exploit them. Oftentimes in talks of jailbreaks, you'll hear people refer to kernel exploits as the primary one behind the creation of a jailbreak utility. Whereas these low level exploits like what we see here with I Hate Snow modify the kernel and the bootloader themselves from a decode compiled file on a computer and then run them on the device with that low level exploit. Now this video also means that he was able to defeat all security features implemented in iOS 9 by patching the security checks and was able to run the OS completely unlocked so to speak. Now Apple has added massive security improvements in iOS 9 which will make all user land jailbreaks which are the only ones that will function on newer 64-bit devices so the iPhone 5s and up incredibly difficult. So that's why we won't see anything come of this jailbreak and the fact that we actually already saw it demonstrated on iOS 8.1.1. Granted, it has been adapted for iOS 9 here. You can see when he goes inside of settings general about, he does indeed confirm that it is running iOS 9. You can also tell just by some of the features there like the news application. And now he's launching Obsidia and showing that it does function properly. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom to show that Cydia does state it is running iOS 9. So he just continues on from there with a little bit of additional proof, but that's the gist of it, guys. So I Hate Snow was able to successfully jailbreak iOS 9. Great news. However, the method that he used really will not apply for any jailbreak, so don't get too excited about it. He will also, of course, just keep this utility to himself. He doesn't have any plans on publishing it, and even if he were to publish it, it would only function on older devices. So for the iPhone, it would be the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. However, there is one silver lining to it. In the description of that video, 
he stated, quote, poking into iOS 9 is fun, a little annoyed at the new things, but very surprised at how similar it is to iOS 8 internally, meaning most of the tweaks that are developed for iOS 8 and are available inside of Cydia will work on iOS 9 out of the box with little to no adaptation from the developers of said tweaks. So that's really great news, guys. Once we get a jailbreak, the majority of the tweaks will be functional on iOS 9 out of the box, unlike what we saw last year with the first Pangu jailbreak. Now, I really do hope you guys like this video. I wanted to provide as much information as possible while also making it as easy to understand as possible, because believe me, it's much more complex than what's stated in this video. So if you appreciate it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos like this one covering various jailbreak updates, as well as tutorials once the utilities are made available, be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. Also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be updated more often. And if you guys are interested in earning paid applications from Apple's App Store and gift cards for free, just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside a mobile Safari. Once you do, you can download some of the applications here for points and then redeem said points for various prizes, including again, gift cards, as well as paid apps from Apple's App Store. All right, guys, and that wraps up everything I wanted to discuss in this video. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.